Yes, it has been one crazy year, but we all still have a lot to be thankful for, and I'm glad you're here. Welcome to the show. You're listening to the Master Your Lens Podcast, episode 181. Hey, John Lee Dumas here, the founder and host of EO Fire, and welcome to the Master Your Lens podcast, the photography podcast dedicated to sharing inspiring stories, technical tips, and powerful secrets to help you become a better photographer. And now, your host, Matthew Jordan Smith. Hello, Photography Nation. I hope you're having a great week. It's Thanksgiving week 2020, and I know it's been a crazy year, but we all have a lot to be thankful for. Last week, I missed the podcast. Life got in the way. I had a client who wanted a lot of the things done, and and I had to make a choice between doing the podcast or doing work, so I had to do work. There was a lot that needed to be done, and I was working like around the clock to get everything done for my client. And you know what they say, when it rains, it pours? Well, that was last week. Everything was happening at the same time, which all things considered, that's a good thing. I was busy with work. And then something else happened. My wife's grandmother passed away. I was in the studio doing a photo shoot at the time. We were doing video and stills, so I actually had my phone turned off. Well, when the shoot was over, everybody's in a great mood, we're celebrating. I turn my phone on and I see the message. I felt like everything stopped. I had a live class scheduled for that evening. I had to cancel that. I had travel plans for this week canceled those as well. Because of COVID, things were happening fast. The funeral service had to take place the next day, which means we'd be up all night. There was a lot to do, but we got it done. For my part, a lot of that was going through and finding images, because now those pictures are precious. No matter how busy you are, No matter what you have planned, losing a loved one can change all your plans. I know many people all over the world have experienced that this year. Maybe you too have lost a loved one. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of photography in the age of COVID. Photography is not just about taking pretty pictures. It is also about documenting life. Hopefully we won't have another year like 2020, but we still need to document everything that's going on in our lives. I didn't know my wife's grandmother that well, but the time I spent with her was actually incredible. And yes, I spent it taking a lot of pictures of her. Whenever I see my in-laws or see extended family here in Japan, or even back in the States, I always take pictures. My family, back in America, they know that, they understand that. They've been dealing with that my entire life. However, for my wife's family, it has seemed a bit intrusive to always have a camera everywhere I go. And sometimes people complain, oh, don't take pictures this time. Oh, don't take your camera. Can you please not take pictures? But I always bring it. And there are times when I'll still take pictures. One great thing about cameras today is that you can turn the sound off so they don't hear the shutter. Because we're shooting digital, that is possible today to turn the sound off. Make your camera silent. So when I go to see my wife's family, that's what I do. Now, they will still see me bring the camera to my eye but they don't hear anything, and that does make a difference. My wife's grandmother lived in Nagasaki. She was 94, and she walked up this big flight of steps every day. And to me, that was impressive. So a few years ago, I told her I wanted to photograph her walking up the steps. 
So as she went out one day, I followed behind her and photographed her, both coming and going. I love those pictures. Parts of Nagasaki are very hilly, so it's common to see a lot of steps. The process of me photographing her brought us closer together. Now, my wife's grandmother speaks no English. And my Japanese, well, let's just say I've got a long way to go. But Obachan always wanted to speak with me. And the joke in the family was that she loves talking to me, even though I don't really understand. And she would tell my wife, oh, I love talking with your husband because he understands me and we get along. And we did. We'd sit there and she'd talk and she'd laugh. And I really felt like I could understand some of what she was saying. Even though I didn't understand the words, I could feel everything. And during the entire process, I would take pictures. Now, sometimes my wife would say, Matthew, please put the camera down. And I put it down for a second. But then I'd sneak it back up as everybody went out and it's just her grandmother and I having a conversation or whatever you want to call it. And I'd take pictures. Sometimes I'd see her just working on a coloring book or, or doing something on the side. And I'd pick my camera up and take pictures. And she'd laugh and she'd smile. And we had a connection. It was beautiful. And yes, I have tons of images. Pictures to me are precious. They've always been. But they're not to everybody until someone passes away. This year, that's been happening a lot. Today, I want to stress the importance of you taking pictures in the age of COVID. And not just special events, but throughout your day, every day. A lot has changed this year. Interactions have changed this year. Even having a a funeral service, a farewell service, that too has changed this year. I just had my first virtual funeral service. That was very different. Something I've never experienced before. And I hope I don't have to experience any more this year. Photography in the age of COVID is different. It's different because our life is different, but it's also precious and special. And no one's going to know that until sometime in the future. The Japanese word for grandmother is obachan. And my photographs of obachan are incredible. They're powerful and they're precious. But I didn't know how precious until this past weekend. Almost immediately after she passed, people came asking me for pictures. Now, when I shot these pictures, nobody made any comments. Nobody even really looked at the pictures. Everybody's looking at them now. Same thing for you and your pictures. People may not recognize them until later on. Your only job right now is to document your life and everything happening around you. Every picture you've taken this year is going to feel even more special when COVID is behind us. Even the things that seem like they're not special. I've never taken pictures of my phone before. And by that, I mean my phone in my hand. I've never done that before this year. There were things that happened this year that I found out about first on my phone. There is a picture I have from March of this year. It's a simple image. It was at the beginning of the crisis and a famous DJ, DJ Nice, went online and DJed online for hours. And people were talking about it left and right because it made us feel good. I pulled out my Z7, threw on a macro lens and shot a picture of me holding my phone, listening to DJ Nice. Even right now, here we are in November 2020, that picture from March is special on my last flight to America, which was in February 2020. I came back and when I landed, there was no toilet paper anywhere in Tokyo. Now, this was before it happened in America. 
I grabbed my camera one day, went out in search of toilet paper and started taking pictures of other people as they found toilet paper. Don't laugh. Those pictures will be special and precious one day in the future. What's going on around you today that's special and very different than years in the past? It's Thanksgiving week, but this is a very different Thanksgiving. People around the world are being urged not to get together. We also have Christmas coming up right around the corner. The holidays will be different this year. Some will have gatherings together via Zoom. Some will still get together. Whatever you do, document these times. Document this week. It's special. This is photography in the age of COVID. And there's something that's going to happen this week that's going to be special and precious to you and those around you. Don't take this time for granted. Shoot every day. It's Wednesday, November 25th, 2020. What are you going to shoot today? What will you shoot tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day for those who are in the States? What will you shoot on Black Friday? Now, I'm in Japan. I'm in Tokyo. There is no Thanksgiving here. But there are Black Friday sales everywhere going on. But also, there is concern about COVID as the numbers are rising. What will that look like? We, the photographers of the world, need to document all we can. Stay safe at the same time but document what you can in a way that may be different than what you would have done in the past. Maybe you read your news on your phone. Document that. Document your life. Use your photography in this new age of COVID. I guarantee you, these pictures will be precious to you and to others in the future. None of us know what's around the corner. And that's why you need your camera with you as much as possible. Yes, I know you have your smartphone, but the quality of those images may not be what you want to show in the future. My wife's family, they all have smartphones. They all have pictures of my wife's grandmother with their smartphones, but they came to me for better quality images to use for the farewell ceremony. Photograph your life, Photography Nation, Document your life. Whether you have one camera and one lens or a lot of gear, use it all the time. I wish you a wonderful Thanksgiving week. Stay safe. Take nothing for granted. I'll be back here next week to share more. Until then, happy holidays, everyone. I'm Matthew Jordan Smith, wishing you all the best. Always dream big. Bye for now.